It's another sunny day on the island of Tulunalu, and their visitors come and go like frigate birds. The memories of them are just as fleeting, gone like footprints in the sand as the tide comes in. But every once in a while, there are a few that leave a lasting impression. Some whose memories become legend and folklore, or others who become parables and lessons, teaching that those who dare to defy the island's warnings will meet a fate far worse than death. Whether it's thousands of years ago or present day, Tulunalu is not only an island of beauty and serenity, but also a mystical one where the spirits have found a home. Island Mystery Theatre presents... Spirits in the Valley Spirits in the Valley was written by Freddie Gutierrez and Valencia Parker, starring Sala Baker, Cisa Gray, Tui Asao, Silulu Aetonu Gray, Fergie Rodriguez, Valencia Parker, Joey Kenga, and guest starring Kira Amosa. And now for our show. This episode is dedicated to Zach Kaina. Rest in peace, brother. On a bright and sunny afternoon, a flight lands on Tulunanu's tiny runway. Dancers and musicians greet the visitors as they disembark, and Mr. Wheeler and Chef Leilani wait anxiously for an expected guest. Welcome, visitors, to the island of Tulunalu. Wow. Another full flight? Tulunalu has become quite a destination for the rest of the world. Is that her, Miss Tewila? Uh, uh, no, I don't think so, Sheriff. It's been 10 years since my niece's last visit. She loved the island as a child, but growing up in Sydney has made her look at Tulunalu with more contempt than admiration until now. Ah, uh, the young ones are always lured to the fast life and fancy world of the big city. She'll learn of what island living can do for her. I hope so. Hey, Miss Awila. Sorry I'm late. I, I was trying to get you all the manha tatijas from Auntie's bake shop, but um, there was all pow. Really? Because you still get some on the corner of your mouth. Oh, <laughs> damn. Hello, Pepe lawyer. When are you going to learn, Cor? You can't pull one over on us. Besides, we got there before you and still made it here on time. I was going to save you some, but I think I'll just give it to Talia. Ah, uh, is that why you wanted me here today? To babysit your niece? That's right. She should be coming off the plane any minute now. And she's hardly a baby anymore. Uh, the last time I saw her, she was an 11-year-old brat who wouldn't leave me alone. You were 15, Kwa. She had a crush on you. Yeah, well, I hope she's not as annoying as she was back then. You're about to find out. I think that's her. Hey, Ati. Hi, Sheriff Leilani. <laughs> Kwa, is that you? Oh, Talia, you are so beautiful. Just like your auntie. Oh, you've grown up, that's for sure. Oh my gosh, she sure has. Hey, uh, uh, Talia, you, you look, um, different. <laughs> different good or different bad? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, different good. Like, real good, very good. You know, like, like all kind of good. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sheriff, I think Cor's not going to mind if Talia doesn't leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> I think not. In fact, I think one might not want to leave her alone. Oh. <laughs> wow. Tulunalu hasn't changed a bit. Oh, you'd be surprised. We have four gas stations now. <laughs> <laughs> We've changed a lot, but still managed to stay the same. It's what keeps us charming. I'm hoping you'll get to see it for yourself. Oh, Auntie, I've missed you. And yes, I can't wait to experience Tulunalu for all that it is. I need a break from Sydney. I'm sure my mother has told you everything. She has, and it's why I wanted you here. I know all you need is a little bit of Tulunalu to set you right. Your Auntie is right. 
A slower pace and some time in the lagoon will make you into a new wahine in no time. And I'm sure you would like to see the island and exactly how it's changed. I can take you around if you like. Oh, are you sure, Ko? A minute ago, you said she was annoying. Miss <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Miss T, I think you misunderstood me. What I said was, it's annoying how these tourists don't get a chance to see the real Tulunalu from, you know, a local's point of view. That's why Talia should come with me. You know, I can show her just that. Yeah, that's what you said. A <laughs> week. <laughs> <laughs> There's Deputy McCuddy. Ah, duty calls. Everything okay, Sheriff? The night of the roaming spirits is tonight, and strange things always seem to happen. Night of the roaming spirits? What's that? Hawaiians think it's Huakaipo, the night marchers. Chamorros think it's the Tao Tao Mona, spirits of their ancestors. And Samoans think it's Aitu, the spirits that guard the villages. Either way, weird things happen all over the island, especially down in the Kokonu Valley. I'll see you guys later. Talia, keep Kwa in line, huh? And hopefully Tulunalu will keep that beautiful smile on your face. Aloha! <laughs> see you later. Kwa, could you take Talia back to the resort, please? I have to drop off something to the mayor. Uh, what about the guests? Oh, I asked Willa to pick them up. Huh? Willa? You sure about that, Miss T? She's fine. Look, she's getting them on the bus now. Okay, everybody, hurry on up and get in. Come on, come on. I don't have time for y'all to be lagging today. Uh, oh, oh, and uh, hafa a day, te lofa, aloha, akuna matata. You know what I'm talking about. Welcome to Tulu Nalu. Now, y'all want to hear some history? Or y'all want to hear my new single I just recorded yesterday? Ah! Oh, damn. As Miss Tuila keeps Wheela from spoiling her guest vacation with her new single, Sheriff Leilani and Makani prepare for a night of spiritual mischief. It's Alofa Makani. Alofa Sheriff. So where are we headed? First, we need to go to Mr. Guma Tao Tao's farm. He said somebody or something is tearing up his mango trees. Well, that's not good. Anything else? Oh, that's just the start. Mrs. Pulaha is saying that the strange lights are popping up in the jungle at night next to her house. Mr. Ludwig claims he hears screams coming from the ocean at Trent's Beach. But I've notified the Coast Guard and lifeguards in the area and they found nothing. And no one's been reported missing. Then we still have at least three reports of strange occurrences in Kokonu Valley. And they yeah, 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 yeah. Get it, Makani. Too bad none of these people do. It's the night of the roaming spirits. There's nothing we can do but try and calm people's nerves. You don't really believe in all that, do you? Myths and legends? They're all pranks to scare the tourists and rile up the old folks. I'm sure once we get to Ms. Walaha's house, we'll find some kids with flashlights getting their kicks from scaring an old lady. Don't be so sure, Makani. I've grown up on this island and have had my share of crazy things happen to me on this night, okay? I've grown up here too. And I've never heard anything crazy happen to me. It's all in your mind, Sheriff. <sighs> you let these superstitions get in your head. I'm a man of facts. The army told me that. Yeah, well, I'd like to see your army come down here and deal with these spirits, huh? We didn't need no army. You got me. And I'll handle all this nonsense, Sheriff. <sighs> I've told you this before, Makani. Tulu Nalu has a way of giving you what you want. Back at the resort, Miss Willa meets up with Ko and Talia. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. Willa was insistent on playing that damn song. <laughs> no problem, Auntie. It gave Ko and me a chance to catch up. Good. I'm putting you in the Nafanua suite. Ko, could you please take her bags and show her to her room? Of course, Miss T. No, Auntie, I can take my bag. I don't want to burden Koa if you need him to do other things. <laughs> Nonsense, Talia. It, it's no burden at all. Thank you for your concern, niece. But as Koa said, it's no burden. He may have been angry if I didn't send him. 
Well, I really appreciate you taking such good care of me. And you too, Cor. Thank you. Right this way. So, Koa, since you'll know where my room is, are you going to keep me company in there? Huh? What? Uh, <laughs> no, I, 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 I mean... <laughs> wow, you blush easily. It's cute. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Your sense of humor has grown up too. You know, if I did anything out of line, your auntie would bury me with the pig and the emu tonight. <laughs> well, what she doesn't know won't hurt her. And I like to get into dangerous situations. Oh, okay. Well, since you like danger, uh, how about you change and I take you out on the boat for some wreck diving? Some crazy rich fool sunk his yacht off the point last year. Hmm, that'll do. For now. And since you're being so helpful, are you going to come in and help me change? Uh. <laughs> Just playing. But you really are cute when you blush. <laughs> well, thanks. While Cor waits with nervous anticipation, Miss Tuila enjoys a little break at the bar. Hey, Miss T. Can I fix you up with a little tonic? I've been trying out some new recipes and could use a taste tester. You know, Balin, normally I wouldn't drink during working hours. Today has been a crazy one, and I think I actually might need something to take the edge off. Are you worried about the Night of the Roaming Spirits? Yes. The kind of mischief we expect on this night should be relegated to locals only. But somehow the guests have gotten wind of it, and it's bled into their psyches. My Roaming Spirits signature drink could be a part of the problem. Or it could all be real. <laughs> yes, it could. And I don't doubt the legends, but... I doubt it should affect what happens on the resort. I think people just want to be a part of something. I agree. Well, here you are. I'm excited to hear what you think. Mmm! <clears throat> that is good, Balin. <clears throat> right? Two of those and you might have courage enough to go into the valley tonight yourself. Kokonu Valley? The one Sheriff Leilani spoke about earlier? Oh, Talia, I... I didn't see you there. I, I don't usually drink in the middle of the day. I wouldn't want to set a bad example, you know. Not at all, Auntie. Enjoy yourself. And tell me more about this valley. I might want to go see it on my excursion with Koa today. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Uh, you don't want to go down. Especially not on the night of the roaming spirits. Why not? Uh, it's not safe. Let's not be dramatic. Every place on the island is safe, but... Kokonu Valley is known to have strange happenings on this night. It's more scary than anything else. <laughs> <laughs> that actually sounds pretty fun. <laughs> well, as much as I like to be the fun aunt, I'm telling you to stay away from the valley today, okay? I wouldn't know how to explain it to your mother if something happened to you. Fine, auntie. We'll just play in the water today. Right, Koa? Whatever you like, do. Have fun. Bye. You know we're going to Kokonu Valley, right? Miss Tewila just forbid you to go. She didn't forbid anything. Besides, you said whatever I want to do, and that's what I want to do. Talia, it's not safe. I'm sure if anything sketchy comes up, you're big and strong enough to protect me. <laughs> well, you know, I, I, I have been lifting weights a little. I can tell. Oh, I can feel too. <laughs> all right, all right, we, we can go. Well, we'll do a quick hike and there's a waterfall on the other side of the valley. We just have to be out of there before it gets dark. <laughs> Thanks, Koa. You're the best. Wow, the jungle is even creepier on this side of the valley. This is going to be so much fun. You, you don't look excited, Koa. What's wrong? I don't know, Talia. It's getting darker quicker than usual, and, and the jungle isn't something to play around in. Maybe we should come back tomorrow. Tomorrow? But the night of the roaming spirits will be over. Don't you want to be able to tell people how you hung out in the haunted valley during the scariest night of the year? 
It's your chance to show everybody, including me, how brave you are. <sighs> Fine. Okay. But let's, let's be quick before the sun sets. <laughs> yes, I'm so excited. Wait, but before we go in, we have to ask permission from the spirits before we enter the jungle. It's the custom and... Just wait, let me ask for permission. Before we enter... Talia! 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 Ah, shoot. I'm coming! As Kor runs into the jungle without asking permission, we, like him, will have to wait until next week to see what fate will be for them on the next episode of Island Mystery Theater, Spirits in the Valley.